I'm here at uh, our only hardware store, Japan, in my area. And the selection is very, very little. And all the parts that I need to build basically a pump, I really don't have. Like hose attachments, everything else. I really have to kind of play around. So, and the solutions online haven't been there. So two and a half hours later, I think I have a solution. So let me show you. So this is going to be the drill bit. Uh, that's, that fits onto here, right? And I'm actually going to cut this and point it out, point it in. This has got online the idea. I'm going with a small, uh, the smaller pump, this uh, po um, pipe size. And ultimately, I'm going to try to go down one meter. Uh, this is actually four meters. It's a four meter pipe. I think I should hit water at four meters. So this is going to be the drill pump. And I'm actually going to put holes, uh, cut holes into it too. So it's actually going to also be the pipe for the, for the pump. So what I'm doing here is building a piston. And this is actually going to be the piston. And the way I'm going to do it is actually the old, um, the bottom of the piston is basically going to have to put a marble in here. I'm going to screw this in, right? So when I push down, water flows up. Okay, and there's actually going to be holes um, at some point. I got to, I've got to, I'm going to have like a washer, basically put a washer here. I'm going to go get the washers next. I've seen them. So I think I got to go see if the size is going to work. A couple washers. And I'm going to drill holes. So basically as I push down, this fills with water. As I um, um, push down, it fills. As I pull up, basically the marble goes and locks this hole, right? And it traps. So every time I'm pushing up and pushing down, I'm actually pulling water out. And that's the top of the pump right there. So the idea is I'm going to reclaim the water coming out of the well, out of the pond. Um, and let's put this in here. And as basically. I'll have a, a washer up here, and the water is actually going to come out of here. So the water is going to come up this hook pipe here, if it works as I plan, come out here, and I'll have a, and this is basically going to go and run right into the pond. So I'll be able to just pump, pump and fill the pond um, with water. I don't know how effective it's going to work, how much water I'm going to get out. You know, um, I'm just looking to fill my pond without having to fill it with uh, house water because our bill last month was 30 bucks for extra water and the other thing too is I've noticed there's some water um, basically coming out so this here I've got to somehow figure out a washer in here this is a little loose I got to figure something here so this is the pump and it comes out here so i gotta i gotta somehow put a gasket on here all right seal it what i could do actually is actually you know what i could do i know what i'll do is i'll lube this with oil right i'm gonna put oil on here and then i'm going to fill this area here with um with silica and what's going to happen is it's going to create the gasket so there's a solution right there um, for that that should work out good so just start it here should probably you know this pipe should be full of water I'm gonna put slot I'm gonna basically cut slits into it so the water will fill into it and uh, I'm gonna see if I can create a way to put water in the pond from it. This part here actually is the drill bit. I've gotta drill this down. So this is gonna be where the hose attaches. This fits on to the top here, right? And I work this pipe back and forth, back and forth, and drill it all the way down there. So thinking how this is gonna work is I'm gonna have to have um, a, uh, what's called a, a washer here uh, that seals. I'll have to drill holes here 
So that way when I push down, when I pull down, push down, it fills with water. When I pull up, it traps it and the water comes out of these holes, but because there's a, you know, a piston here, it can't get out. And then every time, it's gonna it's gonna bring raise the water. The idea is raise the water up here. I think. <laughs> hope hope it's gonna work. This uh, is actually will screw right in here. I tested it with another one. And it will screw right in here, really tight. I just gotta find a marble that basically will fit into this hole. I'm gonna get that in there. marble that basically is big enough to fit in this hole is going to be my biggest challenge but can't fit into this or if so I can just screw something in here to trap it well we want it to fit on top of this here right which I can do I could put some silicone again in here and make it smaller and then have the marble just sit on top of it Where can I get a marble? I gotta go find marbles. That's gonna be the challenge. A marble that's big enough to just fit in here, but won't come out of here. Hopefully it's gonna work. A lot of time and thought into, into doing this. And I've never worked with pistons before. But I need a washer here. I need holes drilled in here. Right. So when it lands back down here, it forces the water out. Right. Push down. The water comes in. Pulls up. It traps the water and forces it up the pipe. Pull down. Pull up. Pull down. Pull up. Should work theoretically. And um, I think I can make this work. It's kind of cheap. This is the connection for the hose. The drilling. I'm going to use these pieces for the handle. You know, I don't need it this long. All right, let's put this into action. So I'm going to be adding the cover. This is where the posts are. The one hole there, one hole there. One hole over there by the shovel. The other one here. And this hole here, I'm actually going to double as, a, as the where the well. I'm going to be pouring concrete in there and in, in, uh, sealing in the post. But I might as well uh, see if I can reach water down there. And then have a simple hand pump that puts water into this. Get the boys to do it initially. Um, I can always change it out into something else. Um, and uh, that's the idea. So I don't want this water when I when I actually have water. So I'm creating a swale that's going to lead the water away from the pond. The good news is there's no water down there. A little damp, but there's no water. So my fear was maybe the you know there's a water table there, and um, it was a little wet down there, a little damp. But here's the other post 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 hole. You can see down in there. Yeah, the sun's gone in. The fountain is stopped. Trout were there. Um, I still got to work out a better aeration system. These are running on battery, and I haven't gotten the solar power stuff to work yet, right? So I'm going to try combining two of them together. See, that's enough juice to power this. These little pumps I may need two. So that's another project of mine. So just doing the next little sprints in our found up house found up house sustainable house project that i want you to come visit stay at at no cost as long as you're a patron of found ups you can join foundups.com and i hope that you will launch your own found up house wherever you are it's sustainable living with a twist it's a new business model which puts planet first we put any projects or any businesses that we launch from the found up house 80 percent of the net uh profits and capital gains goes back into launching, supporting, or scaling up more found ups. 
Um, it's a selfless business model. So Foundup's house is a place where Foundup's happen. Think of it as our hardware. And ultimately when you come here, you'll be eating hopefully fish. I only have right now six fish in there, but I aim to have 20, 30, 50 fish in there. Um, I think it could probably hold at least, you know, if I can get the aeration and everything, at least 20 fish. It's a large space. So, um, but there's a lot of work to happen before that happens. So right now it's kind of in the test, the alpha stage. That's our found up food truck where we'll be selling our okonomiyaki omelets, our oki omelets and other things. And I'm still working on that. I got the solar power in. I've got, I'm waiting on the banner. I've got to go get my food license, um, you know, food truck license. And apparently it ties to the truck so I can actually let someone else go out there. So if you come visit and you want to go and you make and, and uh, do some okonomiyaki omelets and practice your Japanese, you'll be able to do so. My name is Mike Trout, creator of Foundups here, just trying to make the planet a better place. So join me.